Welcome. I'll be reacting to the movie Harvey. I know absolutely nothing about this other than it got a lot of recommendations in the comments, so it must be good. I trust all of you, so let's find out what this is. Remember, this video is not a Marcus substitute. Support the original. This reminds me of St. Louis. We had a house a lot like this. After you. There's no one there. Beautiful day. Oh, well, every day is a beautiful day. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful feeling to have your relative out of the house before the company comes. Well, you're sure Uncle Edward won't come back and spoil everything after the guests arrive. Oh, of course not. Oh, no. Your uncle always spends the afternoon downtown at those filthy bars and taverns. Even if people do call your uncle peculiar, he's still my baby brother. And this thing is not his fault. So he's the uncle, and he has an invisible friend, I take it? All right. I thought he seemed kind of sweet. But I'm not telling. You're not telling. Elvira! What a beautiful house. Elvira! I really like what they're doing with the gowns here because the younger woman's gown is the height of fashion in 1950. The older woman's gown is slightly earlier. And throughout history, we've seen that you tend to dress the way you did in your 20s and 30s, and it takes a lot longer to pick up the latest trends. So, for example, in the Edwardian period, you would see older women dressed more in the Victorian fashion. I have photographs where the younger women are wearing kind of flapper dresses, and the older women are wearing more Edwardian. So that's a really good touch here. And I realize this movie was made in the period in which it is set, but sometimes a costume designer will just put everybody in the same thing but they were thinking through the characterization here. And maybe I'm going too in-depth, but I really think that's fascinating. It's not becoming in a young girl. Besides, men loathe it. Men, a fine chance I've gone. Now, Myrtle, dear, you know the whole idea of this party this afternoon is to... <laughs> I love how the maid's shoes squeak. It's such a subtle piece of humor, but it's great. Screwball in town. Uh, Who'd want me? Oh, Myrtle, dear, you're sweet. And you have so much to offer. Oh, put her on. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I said something a going on between Judge, these two. we have two. another moment to lose. I'm having the Wednesday forum over for program tea and reception for Ethel Chauvenet. <laughs> these two are oh, so cute. Oh, Mrs. Dragonberger. Oh, hello, Mrs. <laughs> But at all events, I want you to prevent him from returning to his house. His sister's giving a party. He wouldn't fit in. His name is Edward P. Dowd. Edward Dowd, oh, sir. Couldn't you get guy. someone else, Judge? A crack. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Gosh, I did a little time. Oh, no, no, Mr. Meikle. My sister loves to entertain. She, she's very social, you know. Yes, I see by the papers. You, you know, I I never missed the society column. You know? Oh. Uh, she's given a clam bait this afternoon. This afternoon. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Reception program and tea, it says here, for the members of the Wednesday afternoon forum. What's your order? Uh, uh, oh, two martinis. Two martinis. The barkeep probably loves this because he orders twice as much. Oh, she's really good. Beautiful. And now, Aunt Ethel, I'd like you to meet Harvey. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Aunt Ethel Chauvenet. She's one of my oldest and dearest friends. She's the one who, him? Well, I, I think I'll be running along. No, no, no. Oh, punch! No, no, thank you. What I don't understand is why everyone is so upset about it. I mean, who cares? He has a friend who's not there. It's fine. It's very imaginative, as a matter of fact. Some strange city. I'm going to change my name. No, don't do that yet, dear. Wait until I tell Myrtle, about Myrtle, it's Gatt okay. I'm going to do something I should have done long ago. Is she going to have him sent away or put somewhere? 
that's not fair if she is because he seems like a really just genuinely kind person and so what he has Harvey like deal with it people and he's your little brother come on that's very important I I, I think she wants to congratulate us <laughs> on the we made oh I love party. it is that whiskey Jane Austen sense and sensibility oh this is so weird I'm reading sense and sensibility and sea monsters right now sense and sensibility the regular version is my second favorite jane austen after emma this version is just crazy i'm about halfway through and every other page i'm like i'm sorry what it's a lot of fun no no deluxe edition usual acknowledgments the family of Dashwood had been long settled in- I love that he's reading Sense and Sensibility to Harvey. That is just uh, beyond adorable. Oh no, that's- <sighs> She's putting him away. Will you wait here for me, Elwood, dear? His age? 42, the 24th of last April. He's Taurus, Taurus, the bull- 42, the answer to everything. Oh, yeah, isn't this wonderful, Peter? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, be nice to him. Mr. Dowd, Elwood yeah. Peter, this way. I'm sorry if I awakened you, Miss Kelly. I know you're not supposed to admit to liking Twilight, but this doctor reminds me of Dr. Cullen. So, my headcanon is that he's a vampire. He's a rabbit. Yes. Perhaps. A rabbit? But uh, just who is he? Is someone your brother picked up in one of these bars? Doctor, I've been telling you Harvey is a rabbit. A big white rabbit, six feet high, or is it six feet three and a half? Heaven knows I ought to know. He's been around the house long enough. Every once in a while, I see this big white rabbit myself. Yes. Now, isn't that terrible? And what's more, he's every bit as big as Elwood says he is. Now, don't ever tell that to anybody, Doctor. Now, what do we want with the police, love? Oh, Both there, no <laughs> I love her spunk. <laughs> that poor driver. He's like, I'm out of here. You're the last person in the world I'd ever want anything like this to happen to. You know that, don't you, Dr. Sanderson? Miss Kelly, this is hardly the No, you need to stand up to him. Scene from Romeo and Juliet. The funny thing is, she's the one who was right. That doctor is L really P. mean. Here. It wasn't Dr. Sanderson's fault, Mr. Dad. It was mine. Oh, no, the responsibility No, is don't cover for him. He's not worth it. Uh, not very often, doctor. So she must be committed here <laughs> temporarily. Under the circumstances, I'd commit my own grandmother. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Dow. <laughs> They're not noticing any of this. Oh my goodness. Psychology. Specialized training. Takes years of it. He may be a trained psychologist, but he's terrible with his staff. He needs to work on that. If I meet your friend inside, I'll be glad to give him a message for you. Would you do that for me? I certainly would appreciate that. Just tell him to meet me downtown if he has no other plans. Oh, you can't miss him, Mrs. Chumley. He's a puka. <laughs> a puka? Pukas are usually horses, but they are shapeshifters. Could Harvey be real? I don't know a whole lot about puka mythology. I've always been more into Kelpies. All right, my headcanon now for this movie is the doctor is a vampire. He really is seeing a puka. I'm just turning this into a fantasy movie and it's fine very fond of my sister Vita, but Vita doesn't seem to care for Harvey. Now, don't you think that's rather too bad, Mr. Chumley? Wait a minute. His sister said she sometimes sees Harvey. That's more evidence that it really is a puka, right? <laughs> would, would, uh, would you care to come over to my house for dinner tomorrow night? I'm having a few friends in, just informally. Well, I, I certainly would. That's very nice of you, yeah, Mr. Dowd. Uh, I've known a few people who are able to do this, of just talking to random strangers and becoming instant friends with them. They have this, I don't know, s special ability to connect with people and make them feel comfortable. 
I have whatever the opposite of that is. <laughs> I scare people off. <laughs> but I, I admire people who are able to do this. Puka. From old Celtic mythology. Celtic. A fairy spirit in animal form. Always very large. A benign but mischievous creature. And how are you, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> how are you, Mr. Wilson? Who in the encyclopedia wants to know? Richard, <laughs> Okay, we have more evidence that it's really a puka now. So maybe it's not just headcanon. Give her some of that library brandy. Anything about Elwood? Something protects him. That awful puka. Where is Uncle Elwood? Well, how should I know? They let him go. Then. That really was a pretty traumatic experience for her. So I can understand just wanting to go upstairs and go to bed. Maybe have some tea. Her theory that the puka is protecting him, though, I think is completely legitimate. Because if they really are friends, it would. Especially since a lot of people would see the puka and just freak out or think it was just in their head and wouldn't talk to the poor thing. So this is probably the first true relationship it's had in years. With a, with a human, anyway. Mother, no matter who jumped at you, we still have to find Uncle Elwood and lock him up. The next time you no. take him, judge. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah, I can't, kid. Dr. Chumley's checking all the police stations. I'd better catch up with him. You look awfully hungry, Mr. Wilson. How about a sandwich? Yeah, but I don't want that crazy dame on my A sandwich. Oh, oh she boy. She down right away. She's too frightened. Would you like a ham and rye? How about an egg and onion? <laughs> I'd love to make you an egg and onion. The eggs and onions are waiting for you in the kitchen. Suppose we go in the kitchen. I'm sorry. The fact that she wants to make a sandwich for this guy is just hilarious and so typical of the time period. However, it does bring up a bigger question. Ham and rye or egg and onion, was it she said? I'm a rye bread fan. I even took that quiz at Bodine Bakery and I was rye. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting. To me, I beg oh, well, I listen. All right, but I'm warning you, it won't do you any good. Hello. <laughs> oh no, I am not listening to my radio. I am listening to Doctor Chumley. I just told you. Mrs. So. Simmons. But after you leave here, I will miss a thing. Not a single solitary thing. Now what's wrong? You tell Nothing. him. Nothing. I, I came down here to say goodbye to you. So goodbye, good luck, and good riddance. Well, you can't even say goodbye without putting it on a personal basis. And let me give you a little friendly advice. That chip on How your shoulder you stems from a persecution complex that undoubtedly goes back to childhood. Well, thanks so much for the case history, Somebody slap doctor. him. Now, could you tell me what an overinflated ego stems from? Now, listen here. Well, I wrestled with reality for 35 years, Doctor, and I'm happy to state I finally won out over it. Mr. Dowd, where nice. is Nice. <laughs> it's a good line. Well, for you, I'd do anything. I'd almost be willing to live my life over again. Almost. No. But I've told it all. I, I'm sure Dr. Sanderson would love to dance with no. you. No, no. Hmm? Would you, Miss Kelly? No. All right. No. That was a nice thing of him to do, but she deserves better. Well, I, I turned around, and here was this big six-foot rabbit leaning up against a lamppost. You have the advantage on me. You know my name, and I don't know yours. And, and right back at me, he said, what name do you like? Well, I, I didn't even... Okay, more evidence that it's real because the fair folk would never give him their real name until they knew him really well. My name happens to be Harvey. Oh, that's not his real name. <laughs> I'm being followed. Who's following you? None of your business. <laughs> Harvey. Huh? The sound design in this is fantastic. You call me doctor? So no. atmospheric. No, I didn't. 
I love that they're just running with the fact it's a real puka. Harvey has overcome not only time and space, but any objections. There's a cottage camp just outside Akron. I, I can't help feeling, Doctor, that you're making a mistake not allowing the woman to talk. I, if she'd been Thank around you. at all, she might have picked up some very interesting news items. And I'm sure you're making a mistake about all that beer and no whiskey, but it's your two weeks. <laughs> Mr. Dowd. Mr. Dowd, I have a formula, 977, that will be good for you. Will you take it? 977? Yes, it's a serum. Oh, you won't see this rabbit anymore. But you will see your responsibilities and your duties. Uh-huh. Yeah. I prefer the rabbit. Thank you very much. Well, Vita, do you want me to take this? Oh, Elwood, I'm only thinking of you. You're my brother. I'm only thinking of you. I'm only thinking of you. Whatever I may do or say, I'm only thinking of you. Sorry, apologies to non-musical fans. <laughs> Peter, are you sure? <laughs> I'll take it. Where do I go, Doc? In my office, Mr. Yeah. Now, this will only take a few minutes. Why don't you wait? Again, he shows that he has such a kind, loving heart that he's willing to give up his friend for his sister. He's putting her happiness above his own. I really like Elwood. There's no car for concern, man. How much is it? All the way out here from town? Yeah. 275 This? Where is it? Oh, the idea. I like seeing what's in her purse. A spoon? Can't have too many friends. Uh... Don't keep the doctor waiting, dear. Oh. It's rude. Ah, oh, there you are. There, keep the change. And I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Lofgren. And I'll expect you and your brother tomorrow night. Huh? But afterwards, uh... Afterwards? Oh, oh. What do you mean, afterwards? Oh, oh. Hey, crab, crab, crab. They yell at me. Watch the lights. Watch the brakes. Watch the intersections. They scream at me to hurry. After this, he'll be a perfectly normal human being. And you know what stinkers they are. Glad I met you. It's oh, true. Wait. You've got to stop them. Stop the injection. Oh. If Elwood and Myrtle May and I want to live with Harvey, what is it to you? You don't even have to come around. It's our house. Elwood. Oh, Elwood. Oh. Rita's all tired out. She's done a lot today. Why, look at that. Oh, it's the puka. They love taking coins and keys. And you make a very beautiful couple, too. No. Rita. No, well, they don't. No. I must no. find Harvey. You know what? If she likes to make sandwiches for him, she can make sandwiches for him. Harvey. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> well, I've been looking all over for you. I like that they never really showed Harvey. <laughs> oh, he got a credit. This was really fascinating. At first I thought it would be a psychological thriller type of a film, but it turned out, no, this was a fairy tale, which is really cool. I was not expecting a fantasy film, and I can see how this would work really well as a stage play because you have basically two sets, maybe actually three sets. I love that we never saw Harvey. We saw the doors opening and, and chairs moving, but everything was in our imagination and what we thought Harvey might look like. A guy in a suit would have ruined it. So perfect choice by the director not to show anything. They also really walked the line for people who do not believe in the Fae of, oh, maybe this was all in their head. It was all subtle. So they got a really good balance of the supernatural elements to it. 
It had a few good comedy moments, but overall it was dealing with some pretty intense family drama, personal issues, and that horrible doctor. Ugh, Sanderson? Ugh. Maybe he can change. But vampire doctor? Someone get a steak. And yes, I know he was just human. He was just a terrible human. Overall though, I think this was a really sweet film and I loved the fantasy elements of Irish mythology. I'm glad I watched it. There were some great lines. Well, I wrestled with reality for 35 years, Doctor, and I'm happy to state I finally won out over it. I think this is a good movie to watch if you're feeling flustered and overwhelmed because it's very relaxing. You can just kind of sit back, maybe get some whiskey, some iced tea, sit out on a porch with your laptop and just watch this. So thank you to everyone who put in the request for Harvey.